Okay, let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings. They announced this afternoon that they've signed safety Harrison Smith to a four-year extension, reportedly worth up to $64 million. How big is this for the Vikings to get Smith tied down? Well, Harrison Smith told uh, BMAC and Pat Pete on the All Things Covered podcast that he wanted to retire uh, a member of the Vikings, and that appears to, is, to be what's going to happen. What's interesting, Jeremy, is that uh, Harrison Smith is 32, so this is a four-year deal as a 32-year-old, which tells you how good he has been and for how long he's been that good. You see the list here. He's now the second highest paid safety behind J Jamal Adams. Justin Simmons comes in third, then, of course, Buda Baker. Uh, this is great news for that secondary that starts, of course, in the back with Harrison Smith. It's a young group. We mentioned they signed Pat. At Pete, but also up front, they have Daniel Hunter coming back. They have Michael Pierce returning, who opted out last year because of COVID. And you can guarantee that Mike Zimmer, the head coach, who is a defensive guy, will make sure that unit is much better than it was last year when at times they, they were not very good. Now, this is also good because what do you have to do to win that division? You got to beat the Packers. And it starts with slowing down Aaron Rodgers. Harrison Smith can't do it by himself, but he's so integral what they do in the back end that it made sense to lock him up. Also, good news uh, for guys like Mika Fitzpatrick. Jesse Bates, two guys coming off their rookie deals who are going to be looking to get paid and looking to get paid at or north of what we just see, saw Harrison Smith get. And also someone like Honey Badger, Tyron Mathieu, uh, who, who has one year left on his deal. He's 29, so he's still three years younger than Harrison Smith. And when he comes up and he has, he, he comes off a good year here in 2021, he's going to want that type of money as well. So great news for Harrison Smith, but also for those safeties who are next in line to get paid. How good do you think this Vikings defense is going to be, or do you think they're still maybe a year away from being a truly dominant defense in the NFL? Yeah, they're not going to be a top five unit, but I think they'll be close, in part because of the players they have. Last year, they had so many young guys, so many rookies on that team, also battling with COVID, of course, and some opt-outs, that they struggled, and a lot of that had to do with just lack of experience. Mike Zimmer isn't one to be patient about miscues, so I guarantee you that is going to be solved this year. Also, the year more... Uh, one more year experience in the NFL will help these young players. I expect them to be good. They could be top 10 for sure. The only concern I have in that defense, it won't be better than the Bears defense, but it will be better than the Packers defense. It won't matter necessarily because Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. I, I think the Vikings will have a lot of work to do to get the playoffs. I think they can do it, but it's going to be equal parts on both the defense playing well and then, of course, Kirk Cousins, that offense holding up their end of the bargain. It won't be a one-sided affair where we can see Aaron Rodgers just dominate and the defense in Green Bay be replacement level or worse. I think that the, the Vikings Stevens has a chance, to, as I mentioned, to be a top 10 unit. I don't think they're quite at, at the top five conversation just yet. He is CBS Sports NFL writer Ryan Wilson, also contributor to the Pick 6 podcast. Ryan, thanks for hopping on with us to discuss J.K. Dobbins and the extension for Harrison Smith. And, of course, they'll be discussing all this on the Pick 6 podcast. Will Brinson, John Breach, Ryan Wilson, and the Super Friends breaking down everything you need to know as we head towards week one of the NFL season. Download and subscribe and follow wherever you get your preferred podcast audio. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.